Hello and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Nurse Alyssa and today we're going to be discussing abscesses. But first, if you could hit that subscribe button, it would be greatly appreciated as it does help my channel reach more people. So let's get started, guys. So what is a skin abscess? So it is a tender mass generally surrounded by uh, pink or deep red tissue, okay? So that's normally what you can see on the outward is pink or deep red tissue, and it's normally a bump. Um, so abscesses are often easily to feel by touch. So you can feel that there's something there under the skin. Um, they're painful. Most of them are caused by infections, okay? So they are filled with pus, bacteria, and debris, okay? Painful and warm to touch, abscesses can really show up on any part of your body. Most common sites um, on the skin are armpits, around the anus or vagina, um, the base of your spine, around a tooth, in the groin area. That's normally where we're seeing abscesses, okay? Inflammation around a hair follicle can lead to the formation of an abscess. Now, this is called a boil, okay? Unlike other infections, antibiotics alone will not usually cure an abscess, okay? So, in general, you need to drain the actual abscess. Um, and a lot of times the doctor will put you on an antibiotic also. Um, but sometimes the draining occurs on its own. Sometimes um, a help of a warm compress can help it um, kind of pull out. Um, but then sometimes a doctor does need to make an incision and drain it. So what causes abscesses? Okay, so when our normal skin barrier is broken, even the, the most minor trauma that we might not even see, so sometimes we get nicked with a razor while we're shaving, and we don't even really notice it, it doesn't bleed, but it's a little break in the skin, this can cause inflammation and bacteria to get into the skin. An abscess can form as your body's defense, uh, defense to try to kill these germs, okay? Um, so it's your inflammatory response. So the white blood cells is actually what you see as pus. Those are white blood cells, okay? Obstruction in a sweat gland or an oil gland or a hair follicle or even a pre-existing cyst can also trigger an abscess, Okay. Um, in the middle of the abscess, the, the contents liquefies, um, and this contains the dead cells, bacteria, and debris. Um, this area will start to grow, creating tension under the skin, and that's where um, we get the pressure and inflammation, and it causes the pain. Okay. People with a weakened immune system um, get certain abscesses more often. Um, those with any of the following conditions are at higher risk of severe abscess. So chronic steroid therapy, chemotherapy, diabetes, cancer, um, AIDS, sickle cell disease, peripheral vascular disease, Crohn's disease, um, ulcerative colitis, burns, trauma, alcoholism, or IV drug abuse, obesity, really anything that's weakening your immune system. Um, if you're on medications for it, this is going to increase your risk. Um, exposure to a dirty environment or persons with certain infections, poor hygiene, uh, poor circulation, they're all going to contribute to the increased risk of an abscess formation. So what are the symptoms? So, so most of, often an abscess becomes painful. Um, it becomes red, warm to touch, tender, okay? So when you have an abscess, you know you have an abscess. Um, as some abscesses progress, they may come to a point or a head, um, and you can actually see the material inside of it. So um, we, we've all kind of had this with acne, okay? So kind of same thing. Um, it comes to a head, and sometimes it spontaneously opens or ruptures, okay? 
Most will continue to get worse without care, okay? The infection can spread to deeper tissue um, and even into the bloodstream. So if that happens, um, they'll get a fever and start to begin feeling very ill. So abscess treatment and self-care at home. So if the abscess is small, so less than a centimeter or less than a half inch across, you can apply a warm compress to the area for about 30 minutes, four times a day. Um, this will normally help bring it to a head and eventually open. Now, you do not want to attempt to drain the abscess by squeezing it or pressing on it. This can actually um, push the infected material deeper in the tissue, okay? Um, you also don't want to stick a needle or any other sharp objects into the center. Leave that for a doctor um, because it can injure, if you go in too deep, um, underlying blood vessels or cause the infection to spread. So when should you be seeking medical care for an abscess? So you want to call your doctor if um, you have any of the following occur with an abscess. If it's larger than a centimeter or a half inch across, um, the sore continues to get bigger um, and more painful. Um, if the sore is near the rectal or groin area, you want to call right away. Um, if you develop a fever or notice red streaks, um, this can mean that the infection is spreading, okay? If you have any medical conditions that we were talking about earlier, you want to seek medical care right away. Now, you want to go to the hospital emergency department if any of the following occur. Fever of 102 degrees Fahrenheit or higher, especially if you have chronic disease on steroids, chemotherapy, on dialysis, you want to go to the emergency department. Um, if a red streak leading away from the sore or with, um, or if you have tender lymph nodes, okay? Now, the lymph nodes can be anywhere from the spot of the abscess to the chest area, okay? So say you have um, an abscess on your lower leg and you have um, swollen tender lymph nodes in your groin area, you should be going to the hospital's uh, emergency department. Um, and then if you have any facial abscesses that are larger than a centimeter or half inch across, you, you should be going and seeking medical care. Okay, so what to expect um, when you're going in for uh, to see the doctor for exams and tests. So they're going to go over how long you have had the abscess, if you recall any injury to the area, what medications you're taking, any allergies, um, if you've had a fever. Now, the doctor will do a physical examination of the abscess and surrounding areas. If it's near the anus, the doctor will perform a rectal exam. If um, an arm or a leg are involved, the doctor will feel for lymph nodes, either in the groin area or under the arm. So medical treatment to kind of um, expect. The doctor will probably open and drain the abscess. Um, the area around the abscess will be numbed with medication. Now, it is often difficult with abscesses to completely numb it, but a local an uh, anesthetic can be given um, to make the procedure almost painless. Um, most of the time, the, the freezing around the outside of it, it does the job. Um, the area will be covered with an antiseptic solution and sterile uh, towels placed around it. The doctor will cut open the abscess and totally drain it of pus and debris, okay? Once the sore has been drained, the doctor, um, most of the time they'll pack the, the wound um, so it can remain open and um, so any drainage can be removed for the next few days, okay? Um, a bandage will be placed over the packing and you'll be given instructions about home care. Most people feel better immediately after because the pressure is gone, the abscess is drained, it feels good. 
Um, if you're still experiencing pain, the doctor may prescribe pain medication for a few days and you're, you're normally sent home with oral antibiotics. Now, the pain, um, sometimes people do experience pain after or with an abscess, depending on location on your body. Um, I find that um, the anal area seems to be very, very tender. Um, and, and people do complain a lot of pain in that area. Okay, so the next steps, the follow-up, um, just carefully read over any instructions that the doctor has given you. Um, the doctor may instruct you to remove the packing yourself. Um, this can include soaking or flushing, pulling it out. Um, be sure to attend all follow-up appointments um, and report any fever, redness, swelling, or increased pain to your doctor immediately. Okay. Now prevention. So maintaining a good personal hygiene by washing uh, your skin with soap and water regularly. Um, take care to avoid nicking yourself with shaving, especially in the underarms or pubic area. Um, you're going to seek medical attention for any puncture wounds, especially if you think there is debris in the wound. Um, the puncture wound was caused by a human bite, insect, or animal. Okay, so if you were bit. Um, you have one of the listed medical conditions. So the medical conditions that we had gone over, or if you're on steroids or chemotherapy. So what's the outlook? So once treated the uh, um, abscess, it should heal. Most people do require, well, I should say many people require antibiotics. You may not, okay? Just, it depends on your doctor's clinical judgment. Um, pain um, often improves immediately and subsides more with each day. Um, wound care instructions from your doctor. So it may include repacking the wound, um, soaking, washing, bandaging for about seven to 10 days. So this usually depends on the size and severity of the abscess. Um, if we need to be packing it, because if, if you have a large abscess, you need to heal it from the inside to the out, because if we just leave that pocket there again, it can fill back up quite easily. Okay. Um, so after the first two days, drainage from the abscess should be minimal to none. Um, and all sores should be healed within 10, 14 days. So I hope this video did give you a better understanding of abscesses um, from what causes them to how we treat them. Um, but that's all I have for this video, guys. I hope to catch you in my next one. Bye for now.